Today's secret is about scaling up. Scaling up from small volumes into large volumes. There is one main reason why we want to do that. In the case when we want to have more product, we have to scale up. If you have large solvent volumes, such as 2 liters, 3 liters, 4, 5 or more, then it makes sense to scale up to a large industrial rotor vapor. Let me show you a little bit more the details. So the first question usually is, what happens to the parameter of the distillation I've done on the small roti? It's actually very simple. You can simply just copy and paste all the parameters, such as vacuum or heating bath, chiller temperature, etc., to the industrial rotor vapor. Now there is one parameter which is slightly different, which is the rotation speed. On the small roti we go to 280 and on the industrial we go to 150. So what can I expect from a scale-up? If I look at the laboratory rotor vapor with a 1 litre flask, we could expect something like 3 litres per hour of ethanol. Now if we simply just move up to this flask and we leave everything else just the same, then we can expect about double. But now if we really push it hard, we can expect something like 4, maybe 4.5 litres with a large condenser, HP condenser, and here something like much more, about three times as much. Now, the one difference we have is obviously fill level. The fill level here is about 500 milliliter, whereas here, if we tilt the flask, we have about 13 liters of solvent which fit into this flask. And that obviously, including or additionally with the heating power, adds a lot of performance. So we have talked about scaling up going from the laboratory rotor vapor to the industrial rotor vapor. Now let's quickly talk about the other way. We can actually use the laboratory rotor vapor to test applications before we actually purchase an industrial rotor vapor. We can find behaviors such as foaming, what are the right temperatures, what, are the, what is the right vacuum. We can already find out in here with the small rotor vapor and then you can transfer them to the industrial rotor vapor. Beside the heating power, which has a big impact on the performance, we have to look at the cooling power as well. So both of these have a big impact. In addition, the difference between heating and cooling, which in the end means the delta T, has a big impact as well on the performance. Now if you want to know more which rotor vapor has which performance, I recommend you to read the technical data sheet of the R220 Pro. Or you contact us at application at buchi.com.